First open start and type control panel. Open your control panel. Open network and internet. Open network and sharing center. Open change adapter settings. Right click your network adapter and select properties. Select Internet Protocol 4. Click on Properties. Select Use the following DNS server addresses. In preferred DNS type, 1, 1, 1, 1. In alternate DNS type, 1, 0, 0, 1. Press OK. First open start and type CMD. Right click command prompt and select run as administrator. Press yes. Type the following command then press enter. Now type this command and press enter. Now type this command and press enter. Type exit and press enter. Restart and your problem should be fixed. First open start and type control panel. Open your control panel. Open network and internet. Open Network and Sharing Center. Click on your Internet Adapter. Press Disable. Click on Change Adapter Settings. Right-click your disabled Internet Adapter. Select Enable. Now your problem should be fixed. First open Start and type Control Panel. Open your Control Panel. Open Network and Internet. Open Network and Sharing Center. Open Change Adapter Settings. Click on Properties. Select Internet Protocol 4. Click on Properties.
Select, use the following IP address. In IP address type, 192.168.1.67. In subnet mask type, 255.255.255.0 In default gateway type, 192.168.1.1 In preferred DNS type, 1, 1, 1, 1. In alternate DNS type, 1, 0, 0, 1. Press OK. Press close. Close your control panel and restart. First open start and type control panel. Open your control panel. Open network and internet. Open Network and Sharing Center. Open Change Adapter Settings. Right-click your Internet Adapter and select Properties. Select Diagnose. Wait for Windows to diagnose your problem. Click on Try these repairs as Administrator. Press Apply this fix. Wait for your connection to be repaired. Close the troubleshooter and your problem should be fixed. Open Start and type Recovery Options. Open Recovery Options. Go to Advanced Startup and click on Restart Now. Open Advanced Options again. Press System Restore. Press Next. Select your latest restore point. Press Next. Press Finish. Press Yes. Now wait for your PC to be restored. Press Restart.
Now your PC should be restored. 